this video, I will discuss about how to generate a Boolean function using multiplexer. That is Boolean function generator using multiplexer. So already in my previous videos, we have studied what is multiplexer, how multiplexer works. We have studied 2 is to 1 multiplexer, 4 is to 1 multiplexer as well 8 is to 1 multiplexer. Now in this video, we will study how to generate any Boolean function with the help of multiplexer. A circuit of multiplexer consists of a set of AND gates and outputs of all the AND gates connected to the OR gate. So we know already we have studied the structure or the circuit of multiplexer. So let me consider this is the circuit of 4 is to 1 MUX. So here we can see that there are set of AND gates. The output of each AND gate is connected to OR gate. So that is what mentioned here. Because of this structure, MUX can be used to implement any SOP functions, that is sum of product functions. Here we can observe the output expression is in soft form. So the structure of multiplexer is such that e, there is a sum of all the product terms. So for the product terms, we are going to use AND gate and all the output of AND gate is connected to OR gate. So with the help of AND gate and OR gate, we can easily build any SOP functions. So that is one of the advantage of multiplexer that is we can implement any SOP with the help of multiplexer because multiplexer has AND gates, several AND gates and all the outputs of AND gate is connected to one OR gate. That is what we require in SOP. Here we can observe that each AND gate produces output of the AND gate as one if the data input value is one. If data input value is 0, it will produce the output as 0. So considering this, now let me take one example so that we can understand better. Implement the given function using multiplexer. So here function x, y, z is given which is having 1, 3, 5, 7. So here these x, y, z indicates the select lines of the multiplexer. These are the select lines. So here we can observe that here we have three select lines. So if there are three select lines, then we have 2 power 3 will be equal to 8. So we are supposed to take 3 is to 8 multiplexer. Another thing we can observe here that the min terms are 1, 3, 5, 7. Let me draw the block diagram of 8 is to 1 mux. So this is the block diagram of 8 is to 1 mux. We know that in 8 is to 1 max, we have 8 input, 1 output and there are 3 select lines. We have taken 8 is to 1 max because it has 3 select lines. Because it has 3 variables x, y, z. Those x, y, z are nothing but select lines. So 2 power 3 is equal to 8. We are supposed to take 8 is to 1 multiplexer. So here the select lines are this is x, this is y and this is z. So already we have studied that. These are the data inputs. This is the D0, this is D1 line, this is D2 line, D3 line, this is D4 line, D5, D6 and this is D7. This is output Y. So in, in this case I can take it as F. So here this 1, 3, 5, 7 are the min terms. It indicates that the corresponding data line are high for this that is the one indicates that the line d1 value is 1 this 3 indicates that the line d3 line d3 value is 1 5 indicates that the line d5 value is 1 and 7 indicates that this value is 1 so that is what said here for the given min term inputs in min term in the function connect AND gate data input to the logic 1 else connect it to the logic 0. So here min term so here min term 1, 3, 5, 7 are given. We have to connect D1, D3, D5, D7 line to the active high. So let me connect this line, D3 line, D5 line and D7 line to the active high. Short all the inputs connect it to logic 1. Active high means logic 
one and the remaining values here we have d naught d4 d6 are connected to zero so connect this line this line this line and this line to zero this is logic zero or it can be represented like this that is grounded so this is nothing but the implementation of boolean function so here the boolean function is one that one indicates that i can write the complete uh, sop for this 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 indicates that one is nothing but x bar zero zero one means zero zero one that is x bar y bar we have z and d naught d1 line that is d1 value is one that is d1 where d1 is equal to one here d3 is equal to one five means d5 value is one seven means d7 value is one so similarly t3 line we can write three can be represented as zero one one that is i can represent in variable as x bar y z d3 plus we have d5 that is one zero one phi is one zero one that is x y bar z x y bar z we have d5 plus we have x y z d7 so for these mean terms the output produces one for other values which are not mentioned here for those values we have to consider it as zero so this is how we can implement the boolean function using 8 is to 1 multiplexer thank you for watching